Welcome back to the Possibility Storm. I'm your host, Lane, and this week's stream was a weird one. Joey ended up having to drop at the last minute, so we took to my Discord server to find a fourth, and thankfully our community member, Jaden, was available to fill in. Prior to the stream, I had already decided that I was going to try out some decks I had never played before, but had some interest in, so I had asked to borrow one of our friends' Atraxa list, and I also pulled down a copy of a tie-in deck off of the database. Revit told us that he had a new list to play as well, Kirk decided to play some Stella Lee, and our esteemed guest brought his core gold deck to the table. We played three games during the stream, and I decided to include them all here in an edited video. You'll see why in a moment, but I won't spoil the reasoning here. During the first two games, we all remained on the same decks, but in game three, myself and Rev swapped to other lists. So get ready for the channel's first ever triple header. Stay tuned. If you enjoy the content, consider supporting us over on Patreon at patreon.com slash possibilitystorm. For as little as one dollar, you can help us keep the lights on. Tiers include Discord benefits, one-on-one -on -one deck building help, and even physical merch. Thanks to those who have already pledged, and thank you to everyone who drops a like, subscription, and comment here on the channel, as it all helps us grow. Now let's check out our commanders. In game one, the Rev managed to get first seat, and was piloting his new Jadar list. This low-cost mono-black commander focuses on making a zombie token each turn, using them to swing or sacrificing them to various effects, and then gaining new ones. Otherwise, it plays a couple of combos, including those with Gravecrawler and a Drain Effect that can win on the spot, along with the Blood Chief Ascension and Mind Crate combo. Otherwise, we're looking at oppressive cards such as Grave Pack that will slowly strip our boards of creatures, or Turgrid that will steal our stuff to use against us. Not firm for us, but probably a blast for him. In Game 3, Rev swaps over to his Too Many Croms list, which is Krom partnered with Sakashima, who removes the legendary rule from the game and allows all of the clones in the deck to become copies of Krom. This can get out of hand rather quickly, and all of the flying beaters make short work of the table, while the card draw effect can be equally detrimental to the rest of us. Kirk is going second here, and he's playing one of the new Thunder Junction commanders, Stella Lee. Stella is likely one of the most consistent and powerful Izzet commanders right now, as she packs in dozens of cheap spells that can simply win the game. She gives impulsive draw on her second spell cast, and as long as you've cast two spells, the winning card can be copied using her ability, and then it's off to the races. Spells like Twisted Fealty are the goal, as it will untap Stella, apply a Wicked Roll to her, and then the copy will apply another, causing the first one to drop off. When the roll hits the graveyard, all opponents are drained for one, and this is life loss, so it even gets around one ring protection. If one of these combos can't be found, or Stella is priced out, Breach Lines will still get the job done. The deck is formidable for sure. I'm going third this game, and I'm playing my friend Swede's Attractable list. This deck appealed to me only because he's beaten me with it so much, but not really knowing all the lines made mulligans difficult, and I didn't feel like I did the deck justice here. Regardless, it is a food chain list, but also has kitten loops, and a huge amount of value off of flickering attracts her herself, as each ETB allows her to look at the top 10 cards of the library, and typically means putting several of them into hand. The overwhelming value usually takes over games. Typically, the deck wins with Oracle or Finale, and honestly, it's much better than I make it look. In game three, I pivot over to the database tie -in list, and honestly had no idea what I was doing with it. You should follow the decklist link in the show notes and read the primer if you want to get a good idea of what it's supposed to look like. I do know this version focuses on Devoted Druid and making inf infinite mana with combos that way, but then needs other stuff prepared for a payoff, and yeah, like I said, go check out the primer for more information. Last but not least is Jaden playing his Corvold list. Just like most Corvold decks, this one is hoping to find Dockside to get into loops that make Corvold huge and draw out the deck, playing all creatures and finishing with an infinite finale. It does have some breach lines, dual caster and twin plane combo, and of course loves to fire off an early ad nauseum. So there you have it. Let's see who takes the cake this time. Do we have pre-games? That's a negative for me, sir. Nothing here. Uh, totally. Out of my four, one of them's a gemstone. <laughs> gem I mean, go, go. it could All be. Right. Uh, drawing for turn. I'm going to play a snow-covered swamp. Cast a jeweled lotus. Crack the lotus. Cast Jadar. Cast well, a manager. Cast a mox amber. Cast a shield for the apocalypse. I would like to buy break trap that fucking children. <laughs> okay. Exile. Exile that shit. Yep. Oh, yeah. Get that the I'll fuck out of here. Step <laughs> and create a zombie. <laughs> I'm I'll keep drawing. Let's the, go with the card to do four. Pass the turn. If Solring resolves. And I will draw a turn. I have zero turn one plays. That's fucking crap. So I guess we'll Urza Saga and a counter and ship it. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll play this Blood Crypt, tapped and pass. Untap. Sure. We're doing big things, uh, Shane. I'll take three. Uh, draw for turn. Cast a Mana Vault. Black. Cast a Grave Crawler. Zombie and Jadar are both going at you, Islane. Yeah, of course. And a combat trigger. Sacrifice. And then you get moved back, right? Step. Comes back. And tap up. Keep draw. Yeah, right. Play Mox Opal. Cast. Strike it rich. Tap that for blue. Sack that for red. Two colorless. Attempt to cast. 
Still, he moved in step and passed the turn. Return, draw. So we're going to play Pollute Delta. This would have gone up. Uh, and Croc. Yeah, I guess Underground Sea is probably the answer. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. This is uh, slower than I would have liked. Untap, upkeep, draw. Let's uh, let's play a Bayou. Tap two for a oh. Vilky God of Lies. Each opponent reveals their hands. No cards in hand. I have Merchant Scroll, Twitch, Gamble, Solve the Equation, and Expedite. Uh, Savannah, Touch, no Force, Ristic, Psych Rift, Board of Wind. Uh, I'll pass turn after. Untap, Mana Crypt. That's a four. I'm okay. Draw for turn. Oh, I don't want that. Snow Covered Swamp. That's my land for turn. Combat. Three at you is lane two, which is a zombie going at Jaden. I don't think it does anything, so I'm going to block the decayed zombie. Second main, not doing anything. Passing through if it's all good with everybody else. And being in the end step, bring back a zombie. Untap a crapper. Keep draw. Let's lose a life and cast a gamble. Yeah, you can roll. Here's a one. Here's a six. Yeah. All right, we'll roll. Yeah. I'm rolling a two. So that is that card. What am I discarding? Discarding. I have no idea where discarding they are. merchant scroll. We'll cast so, a Mox Amber. That is my second spell, so that will have a Stella Lee trigger. Exiling Command Tower. Then Mox Amber is good. I will play I, Command Tower. I will cast a Solve the Equation. Well, I'm going to attempt to copy it with Stella Lee, since that is my third spell of the turn. So the copy goes on the stack. So if I counter the fucking thing, you the, the copy the ability goes on the stack. So if you counter the thing, I don't get a copy. We're going to show you a force, which you knew I had. I'm going to pitch the Born because I don't think it's going to come in handy anytime soon. I'll just move to end step and pass the turn. Move turn. Draw. This upticks. I'll float a colorless. I will go get. I will play a Savannah for turn. And then I would like to put a Ristic on the stack. All right. Uh, yeah, that's 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 what I got. Pass it up. Uh, yes, sir. Upkeep. Draw for turn. Play a Mana Confluence. This land for turn. Play a Mana Crypt. Hang for Ristic Study. After that, I will pass turn. Upkeep. Mana Crypt trigger. Roll four. Two cards okay. in hand. Five at Kirk. Pass and turn. Any of end step. Paying oh, for Ristic, stacks. if you ask. Stacks. I'm going to attempt to repeal targeting my Mox Opal. Well, you guys aren't letting me draw a card, so I don't know the fuck you want from me. I already stopped one thing. I'll respond to it. Orcish Bowmasters. Oh, Paying no. for Ristic. Yeah, I'll, I'll kill the your commander, Jadar, just because it's a 1-1 one, no, one there, and Jadar. I'm sorry to do that. Right, so that'll bounce the hand. <laughs> I was I will fumbling with the... Draw, you're good. And then you have uh, an Orcish Bowmaster you shooting me in the face. Yeah. That yeah, sounds good to me. Untap. <clears throat> Upkeep. Tra. Manamo. Do, 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 do. Uh, no. Manamo. No. Play. Play Mox Opal. Yeah, we'll pay for the Ristic. I have one colorless floating. And these two. I'm going to attempt to cast a snap targeting, targeting Orcish Bowmaster using my colorless to pay for Ristic. And I will have a Stella Lee trigger. Exiling uh, Mystical Tutor. Untapping these two lands. Attempt to cast a Twitch, targeting Stella Lee. Wait, so the, this is the tap, unta oh, you're untapping her and then you draw a card, right? And then yep. you can tap her to copy, this <laughs> is your third spell, is it not? That is. Uh, did you pay for Ristic? I will respond to your Ristic study trigger. Mm -hmm. I will not pay for Ristic, but I will respond above it, targeting Twitch. So this does win him the game. Oh, yeah. Yep, so your Ristic Study Trigger on the stack, I will resolve above that to copy the Twitch with Stella Lee. Mm -hmm. So she will untap, and I will draw a card, and I will continue to do that. Just I will go to two cards left in library, drawing this many. Okay, yeah, this I will is. not not pay for your Ristic Study there. This is the first, or the only trigger, right? Or how, yeah, or, or, yeah, because you're just copying after that. Yep, so this is, uh, she will be untapped. I will not pay for your Ristic Study, yeah, and I will I have still Twitch on the stack targeting her. I'll draw a card. So I have one card left in Library. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Cast a Mana Vault. Not paying for Ristic Study. I shall play Mox Diamond. Not paying for Ristic Study. Go ahead. All right. I will respond to my own Ristic Trigger by casting this Noxious Revival, paying two life. Targeting Force of Negation to go on top I of my library. Pay Two life to mental misstep that, not paying for Ristic Study. Draw? Paying for Ristic Study, I will cast Dramatic Reversal. Copy it with Stella Lee. The copy would resolve. I would untap all of these with Stolen Stack. I would float a bunch of mana. 
explode a bajillion mana. Twisted Fealty, targeting Stella Lee, copy it. This is the one where when it resolves, I untap the creature, I put a wicked roll on it. Yep. And then I would tap her again, copy it. I would get a new wicked roll, which would cause the old wicked roll to fall off. Mm -hmm. And when a wicked roll, when this one is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. Yep. I would present a loop mm -hmm. of being able to give myself infinite wicked rolls on Stella Lee, which would then kill you all. Take it away, Jade. All right. Okay. You're all prepared. <laughs> I'm going to play this Overgrown Tune tapped. I know, it's very similar to last time. <laughs> All right, then tap up keep your raw. Hi, I'm going to follow suit with the spicy training center and pass. How about that? I'm going to draw as well. I'm going to show you a swamp and a mana crypt. Cast Jadar. Use the other to cast the Springleaf Drum. I'll cast a Chrome Ox. <laughs> Oxic Deluge. Uh, I'm going to move to my end step and make a zombie. Okay, move to my turn and draw. Oh, well, that made my turn a little bit better. Um, I'm going to play a Smana Crypt. Uh, then I'll play a Verdant. And I would like to crack it and hope that uh, there isn't a fucking oppo out of those three cards. I would like to get a Trap. Well, I would like to tap this for everyone's favorite fish. I will pass the turn. Untap, upkeep, draw, windswept teeth. I'm going to pass. Command tower. We'll cast the dock side. I'm getting five total. Well, we'll crack three of them and cast Stella Lee. Hand pass. Untap. Mana Crypt trigger. I'm okay. Draw for a turn. Play another Swamp and cast a Praetor's Grasp. Targeting you is lane you can draw. Hell yeah. I'm going to respond to the, the draw trigger, yeah. Sure. Crack this Windswept Teeth. So I'm going to get a Orcish Bowmaster. I go. It is, in fact, another Orcish Bowmaster. How did you know? Uh, ETB, then fine. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll ping Dockside for one if you, if you guys think I should do that. One damage Dockside, then you're drawn for your Mystic, and then right. another damage uh, Dockside, I assume. Dockside. Goodbye, Dockside. I missed oh. you already. Uh, yeah, of course you of course you want that. Of course you do. It's an Exile. There you go. That's the card he got. Pass the turn after that. Move to my turn. Uh, yeah, he got rid of the Dockside, so I can pay for my fish. Uh, but I'll do it with this. And that other manner will go away uh, as I move to draw. Uh, I'll play one sub team and I'll crack it. We'll get scrub. Oh, attendees. And I will pass. Yeah, I'm going to res do something in the end step. I'm going to flash in an Orcus Bowmasters and shoot your Orcus Bowmaster. Ooh, and I'll make a Orc Army. Untap, upkeep, draw for turn. Domping grounds, pay to life. Play my own dock set. I will uh, float one blue and one red. I'll uh, cast Core Vault. If it resolves, there is an EUTB trigger. I will sack dock side. And I will have a Core Vault trigger after that. That, that, sounds, that sounds like a Bowmaster trigger. That sounds like a dead Bloom Tender. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Treasure Sucks. for a green trigger Core Vault draw card. I will shoot the. Stella Lee. I'm going to cast a uh, Delighted Halfling. We'll pass <laughs> All right, I will untap. <clears throat> Upkeep. Draw. Bolt in a Seagate Reborn. Is lane. I'm going to cast Gataxian Probe, paying two life, and target you, not paying for fish. Yeah, I'll draw. That's a Bowmaster trigger. I'll ping Stella Lee. All right, here we go. go ahead, There's then. that. This is why I didn't want half the shit to happen that's happened. Uh... Doop and a doop. This will resolve. I will draw another card. Rev, you have another Bowmaster trigger. Ping Stella Lee. Cool. She's got two damage on her. I will cast an Arcane Signet. Not paying for fish. That is a second card for the turn, so that is a Stella Lee trigger. There's another Bowmaster trigger. Stella Lee. Cool. And then we'll exile Anamo. Move to end step. And pass turn. Untap. Okay. Oh, nice. I didn't know Robert, that. Does everyone like swamps? Here's a swamp, everybody. Cast Liliana of the Dark Realms. That's the negative four, negative four one, right? Negative, <laughs> negative to your swamp. swamp. You have. Yep. Oh. You can draw his name. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yep. There's a Bowmaster Trigger. I'm going to ping Stelly. I will cast a Fierce Guardianship targeting Liliana of the Dark Realms, not paying for fish. And I will draw. There's another trigger. I'm going to still ping Stelly. Combat. Yes. Doing a 2-2 zombie at you, Kirk. I'll swing the 7-7 seven, seven orc army at Corvold. I'll block with my 2-2 two, two orc army. 
I'm taking two to the face. Though. Damn. That's fine. End of combat. The sack trigger comes back in my end step. Untap. Triggers. Uh, crypt. We'll roll. And it's a five. Fuck my life. And we're going to let fish in. Let's uh, play this one ring. All right. I'll add a counter. Trigger. Hey, look. There's, uh, a, there's a trigger. Or master trigger. Yeah. Ping the delighted halfling for one. Um, I've got to move to uh, end step and discard some shit. So. All right. Uh, we will pitch. Pitch. To, you know, fuck. We'll just play the Noxious Revival because it's, it's stupid to not. I'll lose two life. I think I'm just going to target a fucking land, I think. I think it's Hierarch, because it's just going to fucking die. Move it along. Uh, untap. Upkeep. Draw. I'm going to play this Prismatic Vista. Crack the Prismatic Vista. Uh, triggering Corvold, actually. Draw a card. I will ping the Delighted Halfling. I'm going to get a basic forest ad nauseum. I mean, all right. So ad nauseum on the stacks. Like, Stella yeah, I'm Kirk. Passing okay. hardcore on it. All and right. There's nothing that can stop an ad nauseum. Rev can't stop an ad nauseum either. For my three so, guard. Look at how this is up to me once again. Check check this out. There's a force negation. I'm going to exile this Mist Hollow Griffin because bam, synergy. That is, that is value. That is fucking nice. tits. All right. I feel like I did something in this game. We can call it a day. All right. See you guys. Uh, we're cutting the stream off now. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just, just, just kidding. That's a terrible joke. But yeah, uh, continue. Yeah, I, I will pass my turn after that. Uh, play this. Value ad nauseum. I'll play Lotus Petal as my first spell for the turn. Cast Ball. Crimson Wisps, targeting Stolly to turn her into a red creature and give her haste. Well, do, but wait, draw a card she's on already that. red. And a trigger because that's my second spell of the turn. Am I good to resolve my Stella Lee trigger to exile the top uh, part of my library? Yeah. Good. Another land. Just great. Yep. Draw your card. Get a get a bow master ping. Or something. Draw a card. Bow master ping Stella. As we said in the podcast, kill Stella Lee. Otherwise you just fucking wrong. lose out of nowhere. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Wait, we cast a defense grid? I'm gonna cast. Saying that for blue. Dramatic reversal. It's my third spell of the turn, so I will hold priority on it on the stack and tap Stella Lee to copy it. And you're only untapping Arcane Signet and her. Yep. Dude. The copy resolves. I'll untap these two. I'll tap these both in response, adding a blue and then copying Dramatic Reversal. Present a loop where I can produce five billion blue and five billion red. Cast with my floating mana. Solve the equation. I'll get that Twisted Fealty again uh, with my billion mana. I will... Uh, cast Twisted Fealty with my billion mana, holding priority. Tap to copy it. Copy would resolve. Get the Wicked. Untap. Wash, rinse, repeat. Wicked yep. you all to death. Mm -hmm. Does Wicked Roll get around protection? Sure does, mm -hmm. because it's uh, loss of life. life. Yep. Yep. Loss of life. Yep. yep. Uh, pre games, I don't have any. Anybody else? Nope. I do. Nope. Some cavern. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, this is going to feel really risky, but we're going to exile Brain Freeze and see what happens. What are I think? Turn? Uh, I'm playing a Flood of Strain, cracking it. Volcanic. I want to do this before there's an oppo. Uh, City of S, tap, take one, gamble. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's what we've got. So one and two will be the far left card. Nine and zero or ten. That is a six. So it would be your third card over. Right in the middle. That's a swamp. Pass turn. All right. Draw sure. Command tower. But we're going to play this ye old carpet of flowers. Move to second main. Target rev. Make a I don't give a fuck pass turn. Untap. Upkeep. And draw. Play training center. Uh, cast a chrome mox. Exile the old tidal bore to it. We're going to attempt to cast our commander. Stelly. Move to end step. Pass turn. Training center. Pass. I know. So I kind of needed that swamp. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to pass. <laughs> Uh, Untap, draw, beginning of main phase, still target rev because it's the only island, and we'll make a white, I guess, and then we'll play a verdant and crack it. Grab Savannah, white, and add a black. I'd like to cast a little toe. And we're going we're gonna to ship it. Okay. I'll keep mm -hmm. it. Because, Lane, I'm going to pay two life and uh, target you with a get probe. You got that. You got that. And you got that. Draw a card. Again. Bet you couldn't. It uh, trigger Lotho. Uh, trigger Second spell. Uh, mine resolves first, I believe. Sure does. Lose life and make the treasure. Am I good to resolve my Stubble Lee trigger? I have no response. It's a personal tutor. 
There they are. That's the one, and that's the four. The thing is, that's a four. two. Discard two. Number two. So that's my discard. Yeah. We are discarding Lorien Revealed. I doubt that was the target. Might have actually been, believe it or not. Uh, moving to end step. Really Pass on the turn. Now I'm going to draw a card. Here's a cavern of souls naming Rogue. Isling, please, for love of God, don't counter this Wheel of Fortune. All right, yeah. Heck yeah, let's go. Let's draw seven cards. All right, uh, Rev, what are you discarding? Uh, deflecting Swat and Rhystic Study. All right, Jaden. Eldritch Evolution, Saw in Half, Vexing Hushosher, Ad Nauseum, Dockside. Wow, that was stacked. Uh, I'm dropping. This is the bird that I had, Aven Interrupter, which, if I could cast it, would have fucked off your thing. Uh, calling Ritual and Touch. This is. I was thinking about touching uh, Stella, but she'd just be gone till end step, which... <laughs> <laughs> Dirty. Uh, I'm discarding Deflecting Swat, Mana Crypt, and Otawara. Casting a Jeweled Lotus. Mox Opal. Lotus Petal. Really good. Fuck. Crack. Crack. Cast Crom. Crombat. Punch and Kirk. <laughs> Taking four. Pass and turns. <laughs> On your end step. I'm gonna tap one, lose one for Worldly Tutor. I'm gonna get this filthy. <laughs> Go to draw for turn. I'm gonna play a uh, overground tomb. Pay two life. Two losing one for a Valky. Yeah, everyone yeah. reveals their hands. Island, a steam vents, a homeward path, and a heat shimmer. Uh, Iganjo, Green Suns, Chromox, Timna, Beseju, uh, Wax Wayne, which is a. It's a creature gets plus super super on turn destroy an enchantment and earthcraft, which I know does something, but yep. land land, mox and diamond, snap, shore up, finale of promise, and a red or and a pyroblast, sorry. So the only creature I get is Timna. I, I exile yep. Timna under Filthy here. I mean, wow, that's a really terrible option, isn't it? So Just that I will pass right. turn. No keeps will draw. Um, yeah, in your upkeep. I don't know that it sure. matters. I'm gonna attempt to pyroblast the Krom. Make me feel sad. First main, uh, yeah, it's still you. It's still one. We'll just have to agree. We'll play Agonjo's land for turn. We'll use the green from carpet. Use that and that. That makes more sense uh, to do the green sun sex equals two. Um, we're going to get devoted drip. Yeah, I'm just going to pass turn. And a lucky for uh, play city of traders is my land for turn. Cast personal tutor. We'll put Twisted Fealty on top. Cast a Mox Diamond, which will trigger Stella Leagues. That's my second spell. I will exile Twisted Fealty. And I'll pitch this Mana Confluence. Uh, I will make a treasure. Yeah, it looks like you're winning three games in a row, Kirk. We brought shit decks to the table. That. Attempt to cast Twisted Fealty. Targeting Stella Lee. Holding priority. Tapping Stella Lee to target Twisted Fealty. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you got it again. 